Hey folks, how you doing? Um, today I'm excited to bring you the final, 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 final version of the Milkman. Um, I think it's version 29 for me. And I started off getting pretty close. Then I kind of went far away from it. Tried a few other things, wasn't working, and I just kind of sat there scratching my head. Put out the best one I had on my channel. And still been trying to um, to get there. Then all of a sudden, dairy milk came in my possession. Um, there's one of the things that was missing. I'd already been using berry cereal by um, by TFA. If I can find it. There we go. I already had Captain cereal, um, which I'd used in it a couple of times and thought that it would it was okay. One of the main things that I was missing was um, graham cracker clear. I've always said the milkman had that. I couldn't get that caramel flavour to it. Um, this gives me it. It smells like the milkman straight out of the bottle. I'm surprised nobody's noticed that. To me, it's just got that caramel to it. So uh, that one's been a big part of it. I started off at like 2%, 3%, 4%. I think I'm up to like 7% on it now. Um, put in some graham cracker by Flavor West. Um, what else did I put in there? I think I had a bit of biscuit as well by Inawera. Oh, almost picked it out. There we go. But I think that's it. I think that's just about all the flavors there are. Um, graham cracker clear. Dairy milk by TFA. Um, Captain cereal by TFA. Sorry, by Flavor West. I beg your pardon. Um, berry cereal by TFA. Graham cracker by Flavor West, and biscuit by Inawera. And uh, this, I just tried this version. And it is extremely close. It just needs a bit more grain in the graham cracker. So that's what I'm adding right now. And I'm only tweaking it just a tiny little bit. So uh, I'm confident enough to put this out as my final, final ever for this one. And I'd say it's a very, very close clone. Um, although I've not got the, uh, I've not had the actual Milkman juice for a while. But to me, it reminds me just of it. So that's a good enough clone in my book. <coughs> so let's go ahead and mix it. Um, do you know what? First of all, let's. You know what? Let's, let's change this to Milkman Final. Actually, do you know what? I should have already had another one in here. No, I think that's it. That's. Do you know what? I made one just a minute ago. Put it in here. This is it. Let me double check. This is it. We're good. God, for a minute there, I thought I'd lost it. Um, we'll just call this one final. And we will put it in the premium folder. Okay. And I will... It's called Pre Milkman New Final. Because it's my latest attempts at them since, since I got the, the new flavours. Which I kind of thought were missing. Of course, I didn't know what those flavors were until when they first come in, and I was like, I know where I can use that. So, uh, yeah, it's been, uh, it's been exciting getting this close to it. This is what I've been doing behind the scenes. I think I've mentioned it in a few of my videos. So, let's have a look. Graham Cracker Clear, 6%. Um, oh, I'm doing a 30 mil here. Let's, let's do a batch. Do a batch and I can set a steep time on it because I want it steep for two weeks. And I'm very confident that this is um, this is a great mix. But always remember, this is not tried and tested either. Um, this one is tried and tested, and this one is tweaked just just very small. I put a little bit more graham cracker clear in there little bit more Flavor West uh, graham cracker and a little bit more biscuit. Actually, a little bit more Captain cereal. Um, and that's, but just, I mean, just minute bits, half a percent here, half, half a percent there. 
so um, I'm pretty sure that I'm I'm right on with it. Um, okay. Let's go ahead and mix. Should have got the little uh, camera for this, but oh well. What you need is the recipe, not me uh, with a close-up of dunking drops into a bottle. That gets old after a while, right? What we need is some recipes. And I've been churning out a lot. I've already done a couple tonight, new ones. Okay, there's that one in. Now for the dairy milk. But the graham cracker clear and the dairy milk are the two two of the things that were missing, completely missing from what I was trying to do before. So that's why it's taken me so long to get there. And maybe I'll find another flavour at some time where I think, oh my God, that should have gone in it. You know, maybe I will update it. But right now, this is, this is the last one I ever intend to make. And I intend to make a lot of it. I'm going to let this one steep and just make sure that everything's good. Five, five. So that's quite a bit of dairy milk as well. These things are, these flavors are very elevated, but trying them at just a slightly lower percentage, it's almost there, it's almost perfect, but they just need that extra little bit. So, and there's no sweetener in this. Um, don't know why, it just doesn't need any. <laughs> Um, I don't know where all the sweetness is coming from. I think it's that graham cracker clear. I swear there's something in there. It's the magic ingredient. Okay, Captain Cereal, which is just 1%. I did have it in at half percent before. But it definitely does do something to it. Berry Cereal. This is where, see, it was supposed to be, a, everyone said it was a strawberry Pop-Tart. Well, if you look on their site, I think it just says a Pop-Tart, uh, drenched in milk or something like that. Um, so I always put strawberry in it. Um, I stopped doing that when I used berry cereal because um, it's got the berry notes in it. Kind of. They're there without you knowing it. And it just tends to work brilliantly it's got that bit of grain in with it as well that gritty feel but this is the one that really does it is the uh, flavor west you know i might be out of this but i've got another got another bottle to open uh graham cracker by flavor west is it going to be enough in here oh here comes the bubbles almost Sorry, that's the gerbil uh, bite in the side of the cage. There we go. That can be thrown out now. And we're getting, you know what? I'll get the other one off camera. And then we got Biscuit by Inawera. 0.62. This one's getting low as well, and I've got another one of these. I had vape mail today which um, I've made a video on it, but I'm not putting it out just yet because of this mix. I just happened to, I was about to work on the other video that I made about my vape mail, and I got this out to try it and realized how damn close I was and just had to make another mix. And I was just gonna do like a 15 mil tester and I thought, no, this is, this is the real deal. Um, there's no need to do a tester. Let's just go straight on mine with it. So we're going all VG, which I would suggest you do because uh, the original is supposed to be like 99% VG, which I don't know how they managed to do that. All their flavors must have been suspended in VG. Or they're just uh, massive high concentrates. Okay, so we're... Whoa, 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 whoa. 
Damn, I haven't done that for a little while. Oh, you asshole. I hate these thin neck bottles. Why don't they make thicker neck ones? I got some real good thick neck ones not um, not so long ago. I didn't buy many of them. I got them from eSig Express. And um, they were brilliant. They're great for filling up out of bigger containers. And they're great for putting this in. But these little ones here, the thin necks. Not quite sure why why I'm even buying them. But they don't show up as being that thin. They're not... They're not that narrow, but they're they're a pain in the ass. But you know me, I don't edit anything. This is what happens when you mix. So expect it to happen to you. And then when it does happen, you say, oh, well, I'm not the only dumbass that does it. Um, that other idiot on that channel does it as well. Right, let's go over there. And let's carry on where we were. Let's try not to uh, catch it this time. What it does, it catches on the side and then kind of climbs up and plugs the whole thing. Oh, this one is going to get filled up quite a lot. My over 15 mil bottles only go up to where the uh, bottle starts to narrow. This one, it goes past that. There we go, God. Do you know what? They've been quiet for the last hour. I made a video earlier, and that's all they done the whole time I made the video. And I got really pissed and I stopped making it. Then I've been sat at the computer messing about with some other stuff, and they have been quiet, just so quiet. And then I come over here to make another video. I think it might be the bright lights. Maybe they don't like them. I didn't put no... I didn't put no nicotine in. You dickhead. Oh dear, that's frustrating. That should have been taken off the VG amount. I better let's just give it a throw in without nicotine. Do you know what? I'll just leave it without nicotine. We'll let it steep, and then I can easily put it into a 15 mil bottle and add the nicotine. It ain't gonna harm anything. So used to not using nicotine um, when I'm filming. Just to the fact that they're normally all trials, where this one I am absolutely fine using it. Really want to give it a good mixing. Need some new batteries in this thing. There we go. It's already got a nice colour. But this is what see the steep one is just slightly more this one's gone milky so that's why it looks a little darker but the steep one he's not quite steep either he's done 10 days so he hasn't done his his full uh his full 20 um his full 14 which I, and it may need maybe it need three weeks of steeping who knows but if i was you i'd go ahead and make some don't go I won't go crazy right now making 200 mil, 300 mil and all that. Make yourself 30 mil, try it in a couple of weeks, and then say, holy shit, that's great. Because I know that's what's going to happen. But make sure it's for you. Um, you know, if you've never tried the Milkman, um, this is the Milkman by the Vaping Rabbit, not One Hit Wonder. It's the Vaping Rabbit. there taste is there so all it's got to do now is steep the tape the the flavors will mellow and combine a little bit more um, be a bit smoother on the cream that's going to be good it's got plenty of mouth feel I think we've got a winner there well there we go finally um, when do I start this channel? Last July. So we're looking at six, seven months in the making for this. So um, I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> anyway, come back and see me and I'll, I'll pull up. Uh, I made a video yesterday and I made another one tonight, which I don't know if I might make another one because it was vape mail and I might just bring the flavors out and show you what they are. Because the, 
those critters over there ruined it and they've kind of messed my video up now as well but I'm putting this one out I'm gonna go straight to the uh, computer and put this one straight up but anyway this is the real deal folks um, go ahead and make yourself 30 mil um, leave it for two weeks try it and then you'll be making a whole bunch more so uh, anyway have a good evening